Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another tour of Los Angeles video. So, today's tour, we are going to be taking a look at the completed strip mall here in Los Angeles. That's right, the strip mall is now 100% complete. Uh, it was quite a bit of a grind to kind of finish this thing up, but it is done now, and I think it's looking pretty good. So we're going to kind of tour the final product now and walk you through all of the different buildings and the different businesses and shops and even the supermarket. So let's jump right into it. We're going to start off with the supermarket. And the supermarket for Los Angeles is called Bone Meal Supermarket. And if you're wondering why it's called that, it's actually because the bone meal um, block in the city texture pack, it kind of looks like a little soda can. So my subscribers and I, I think it might have been on a live stream, we kind of had the idea to turn that into like the brand for the supermarket for the city and that is the reason why it is called bone meals and we will check out the interior in just a second just a couple of things to note here on the parking lot parking lot's pretty basic i pretty much just copy and pasted it from the stadium parking lot right over here on the other side of the strip mall and the only really thing i changed was i added these little cart spaces so i know you guys whenever you go to a, a supermarket you always see those cart storage spaces that like i don't know you see like guys in red uh <laughs> red shirts walking around and or orange shirts walking around and kind of putting them in here and organizing them so i have the shopping carts in here i use some hoppers and some fence gates to create these i was originally going to do cauldrons but they don't look good in this texture pack so i used hoppers instead pretty good alternative i think and i added two of those little areas there and then we have some uh, handicap parking out in front of the building so let's go ahead and fly on inside of the supermarket we'll check this out first and we'll go through all of the restaurants and all of the other shops today as well so we'll kind of do a speed run of everything because it's going to be a lot of stuff to cover so here is the supermarket guys here is the interior since the last time you guys saw it it's changed quite a bit there was just something that i needed to add to this place and i just wasn't sure what it was it was kind of stumping me when I worked on this thing for Los Angeles, and I'm sure many of you guys have seen the episode where I worked on it, uh, I kind of had a, sh a smaller ceiling. Well, the ceiling wasn't as high, and that was the thing that I needed to change. Like, I just couldn't figure out what this place needed to make it look better, and I finally like realized that I needed to make the ceiling taller. So that's what I did. I increased the height of the ceiling probably about seven or eight blocks, and that's and I kind of added these lines of sea lanterns in. I don't know if these are like the best way to do this, like the best way to light these up. And they are a little bit laggy because of the animation on them, but I just think they look pretty cool with like the blue color. So I kept them and again, just taller ceilings. Here's a little uh, garden space for like flowers and things like that right at the entrance. But of course we have all the checkout areas. And the cool thing about this is you have, you know, they're all numbered and there are six of them. And then some of them are lit up with glowstone and that means that they're actually like in use right now, like you can actually use this one. You know, you always see that, you know, if it's lit up, you know that you can go down that aisle and there's gonna be a cashier there to help you out and, uh, or a clerk or whatever. And then the ones that are not lit are just uh, light gray wool. And obviously those are no longer, those are out of service at the moment. So that's kind of the whole point of that. We just have some shopping carts lined up on the sides next to the window. Pretty basic little, uh, you know, checkout areas. I did this on a CLD episode, so you guys have seen this before. Anyway, let's go through the uh, aisles here. So we have a bunch of produce. Again, I did all this on CLD. Mushroom aisle, we have energy drinks. You kind of have to really, really expand your imagination when you're looking at this because uh, unfortunately, they have all these cool different food blocks. Like for example, right here, we have you know fish, we have pork chops and bread and all this stuff. And, and this is like stuff I could actually use. The only problem is I'm... And my uh, item frame limit is maxed out on this world. And the item frames lag the world anyway. And I can't just place any of these things down like on the ground like I can for, you know, mushrooms or leaves or melons, unfortunately. So I kind of had to, you know, expand it a little bit and you have to use your imagination. So right here are the energy drinks. So it's basically stained glass and those are kind of like the bottles and everything like that. Right here we have some colorful cereal boxes on this aisle here. Uh, this aisle, I think this is aisle seven. Uh, obviously, we had a little bit of a mess here, so clean up on aisle seven. I'm pretty sure the term is clean up on aisle nine, but there isn't nine aisles, so I did just did it on seven instead. Clean up on aisle seven, and this is uh, some meats and stuff like that. So packaged meats and things like that would be in this aisle, and then right here we have water and ice. So we have some bottled water on the top, and then some packed ice on the bottom, and that is that final part. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's some cheese right here too. We have a cheese aisle as well, so we used some wool and some sand and some hay for that so those are the shelves and the aisles turned out pretty good we have about i think it's like eight of them or something like that 
over here is a little bit different part of the supermarket. We kind of have a buffet sitting area, eating area. So in the middle we have like this big, you know, buffet thing and it's like you take whatever you want and then you can come sit at these tables and eat food. And over there, uh, I kind of have these heads backwards, which is you know slightly disturbing, but there's supposed to be some sort of baked goods or something like that on that shelf. So that's like the best I could do for that. And over here we have the pharmacy. So we have, look, look, I think that's a pretty cool design, like the needle and stuff like that. Cool thing. And we have the a pharmacy under there. And then over here we have the bathrooms for the men and the women. I'm not gonna go into detail on that kind of stuff because you guys have seen stuff like that all the time. Over here we have the fish market and we have the deli right next to that. And now let's go ahead and check out some of the back spaces and then we'll be done with the supermarket. So right here, you know, this is kind of just the frozen area. You know, this is where like they would stock milk and things like that. Stuff that like perishes really fast that you need needs to be, uh, you know, going on and off the shelves like really, really quick. So uh, let's just kind of show you guys the behind the scenes. So we have the hallway over here and that leads to the entrance to the deli and the fish market. Over here we have the back room and this is kind of just like stock and storage. So we have some pallets of a bunch of different woods on the side there that have been, you know, opened or whatever. And the food has been packaged food and stuff like that has been taken off of them. And then we have this big shelf here of a bunch of miscellaneous items just to, uh, you know, ready to be put out on the floor when they need to be. And then over here we have the entrance. This is where everything would get loaded up from the trucks. So we have a forklift in the corner here. And then I have a truck that's just kind of just parked in here in the, uh, the door is open on it, so it's kind of like a little role play there. And then, of course, we have another Bone Meals truck on the outside. I'm probably going to end up building a bunch of Bone Meals trucks all over the city, just kind of, you know, transporting food. I think that'd be pretty cool. And we'll get into more detail in the back of this area later on. So that's pretty much it for the interior of the supermarket. So that we have that, you know, kind of squared away and put in the books. Bone Meals supermarket turned out great. Let's move on to the next um, business here. This is the awesome Ocelot's pet store. I literally worked on this just recently on CLD. This is the most recent episode. And uh, again, not completely changed from last episode. I added the extra shelving here. And then of course we have the pet adoption area. So here's a couple of uh, little furry guys that uh, want to find a home one day. We have the front desk right there. And then back here we have the aquarium. So this is supposed to be like a little fish. Got that idea from a subscriber. That was pretty cool. And then we have just have a bunch of aquarium tanks in here for fish and other, you know, aquatic, you know, pets. And then back here is just the exit that leads out to the back. So that is the the uh, pet store here. It's also got a skylight as well. I tried to add some skylights to the interior just so they were a little bit better lit. As you guys know, if you guys play Minecraft a lot, because I'm sure all you guys do, it sometimes it's hard to light like really large spaces. It, it was very, very difficult to actually like light this place up and you know, actually have so you can see things without having to use a night vision potion. So anyway, there is the awesome Ocelot pet store. Let's move on to the flower pot coffee shop. Of course, if you guys are fans of Los Angeles for a long time, you guys have probably heard of this. This is a staple on the world. This is like one of the, like the main businesses, the flower pot coffee shop. Again, not gonna go into too much detail on this because you guys have seen me build stuff like this before, but we have the, you know, the, uh, the area where you are gonna order your coffee. We have a little sitting area over here where you can sit down with your laptop and drink some coffee. And then we have some tables back here. I think this turned out really good actually for the strip mall. I think I kind of implemented that modern fancy design that we did for the flower pot coffee shop in the downtown area of the city and kind of implemented that same style of interior for a strip mall. I think it turned out great. And then right here is just like the back room. And of course we have these exits back here. And each one of these businesses, by the way, has an exit. And I'll just kind of go into detail with this real quick. We have some dumpsters, but Every single one of these is marked by um, some signs. So we have Shears employee only, you know, again, you know, Nether Leather, Chili's, et cetera, et cetera. So those are just like the back doors and the employee entrances pretty much for these businesses. So let's go back out to the front and let's move on to the next one, which is Shears Barbershop. This is a cool one. I think this is another one I actually worked on on CLD, but here it is, the, the LD famous Shears Barbershop. So this is pretty cool. This is actually my personal favorite of all the businesses in this strip mall. I really like this. I think it turned out nice. So we have, again, the little front waiting area with the reception desk. We have our three barber's chairs. Pretty cool. Some more waiting areas. And then back here we have an office and we also have a bathroom. So that is the Los Angeles famous Shears Barbershop. If you're trying to get, if you're an LD citizen and you're trying to get a haircut, Shears is the place for you. As you can see, I tried to like create a little, you know, smaller scale shears, you know, the little pixel art of it. 
of the, she well, the, the shears look in the default texture pack. In the city texture pack, they look kind of like an ice cream scooper. Uh, but in the default, that's what they look like. So that's kind of what I made the logo for. So the Shears Barbershop. I love it. Next building is another one that you guys are probably familiar with. The Nether Leather Clothing Store. This is the main clothing line of Los Angeles. Again, the interior of this is very similar to the one in the downtown area. So the second Nether Leather here in LD. Got some skylights. Again, we have the mannequins displaying some of the fancy clothing you can buy here. Just a bunch of, uh, you know, racks for clothes and things like that. A nice carpet with a nether theme because that is the point of nether leather. And then in here we have the employee only room, which is a huge mess. Let me go in here real quick. Look, we have a bunch of boxes and, you know, random shelvings of clothing all over the place. It's just a big mess in here. So there's the uh, employee only room. And then on the other side, we have the changing rooms. So here they are, or the dressing rooms, or whatever you want to call them. So we have two little cubbies here for people if they want to rent this out and try on some clothes and see if they like their new fancy nether leather clothing, the premier clothing of Los Angeles. So there it is, guys. Nether leather. Again, I've, I've made one of these before, so this is not like super new, but it still looks pretty darn awesome. So let's move on to a couple more. We have two more businesses here in this strip mall. The last two are both uh, eateries. We have two restaurants. We have the Chili's and we have the Moe's. So let's go ahead and get started with the Chili's. At first, I wasn't sold on this logo, but I, I started to grow on me, and I actually really like it. So whether you guys like it or not, you know, it's up to you. I think it looks really good, so I'm happy with it. And the interior of the Chili's, I think, is even better. So let's go ahead and show you guys. This is the first time you guys have seen this. I didn't work on this on CLD at all. So we have, like, the little front area here with a carpet, and this is where you would, uh, you know, party of four for lags, party of four, and you'd go ahead and get seated. Over here, we have the bar area and a couple of booths next to that on the windows. Again, these are like little sitting areas and benches if you're waiting for a uh, table. A couple of just uh, round tables over here. Well, they're square tables in Minecraft, but just make believe that they're round tables. And we have those. We have a couple of little chili pepper, you know, little, I don't know, pixel art things on the wall. They're just really for decoration. We have a nice little corner booth there. Bunch of booths on this back wall. Again, just lots and lots of booths, lots of places to sit. Have this little divider wall in the middle here, so that's pretty cool. And that is kind of like the main layout of the chilies. You kind of just take it, take it all in, guys. I think this turned out really good as well. This is uh, one of the nicer restaurants I think I've ever made in Minecraft. I think this is pretty good. I'm not like a pro at making restaurants or anything like that. I'm, but I, I think this turned out really good. So there is the chilies. Uh, in here we have the uh, men's and women's bathrooms again. Not going to go through that stuff because it's really basic. And right here is the kitchen for the chilies. We have this. And then over here, again, we have another back exit for the employees only. Again, we have the Chili's employee only entrance. So that is the Chili's. I think it turned out really good. Um, it's not like super realistic in terms of how it looks in the exterior because not often will you see a Chili's in a strip mall. Me personally, there actually is a Chili's in a strip mall near where I live. And that's kind of what I based this off of. But the interior is kind of just like whatever I felt like doing with it. And then over here, we have the Moe's Southwest Grill. Again, this doesn't look anything like Moe's logo. I had to kind of redo it. I might even just like rename this place and not even call it Moe's because it looks nothing like the logo. So it would just be kind of pointless for me to take that name. So I might think of a different name, rename this place at some point. But this is indeed the last business here in the strip mall. So let's go through it. Again, I built this on CLD. So you guys have probably seen this. It looks pretty much like a Moe's. Like if you're thinking about what a Moe's looks like in real life, at least the one where I go to, it looks just like this. We have some booths on the side, a couple of tables here. This is where you order your food and choose what you want. We have our menus up here with all of the stuff that you could buy. Again, we have the kitchen in the back over here, the Moe's kitchen. And then over here, we have a couple more booths, uh, some trash cans right there, and the restroom. And that's pretty much it for the Moe's Southwest Grill, which I think I'm going to rename to something else. I'll think of my own name for it. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. But Guys, that's going to pretty much conclude the tour of the Los Angeles Strip Mall. Pretty big project. I've worked on it for a couple of months, but it is done now. Pretty happy with the final result of it. Uh, I think it turned out really good. I think it's a great addition to the world. We just needed more um, you know, commercial stuff in Los Angeles. So we needed to find spaces for more businesses. We were in desperate need for a supermarket. And I think it's a good spot for it because it's kind of just on the outskirts of like the main high rises of the city. And it's also really close to the neighborhood as well. So all these people that are living in this residential area can just have a short drive over to the supermarket so they can get all the stuff they need. So I think it's a good spot for it. It was a great way to fill this space, which is basically just, you know, right over top of like an ocean that I just couldn't think of anything to do with. So I think this was a great way to fill this space. This is going to be good. And especially when we expand the world in the future, where I can continue this road out into the great beyond 
of uh, Xbox One expansion. We're gonna have some other stuff over here that we could add. So uh, I think this turned out really good. I'm happy with the final result of it. Let me know what you guys think about my Los Angeles strip mall. I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm happy with the businesses I put in here. I like the way the supermarket turned out. Everything turned out great. I, I put a lot of time into it, so I'm happy with the final result. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like if you did enjoy it. We're just that much closer to completing Los Angeles on Xbox 360. Just, you know, one project at a time, and we have another one finished today. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Hopefully you guys like the strip mall tour, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>